Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's Rad from Radko Tarot and in this whole video we are going to look into Taurus week, December 28, 2020 uh, to January 3rd, 2021 and uh, just to remind you guys that if you do want a personal reading with me you can go to my website which uh, link you are going to find uh, into the description down below and there on the very front page you are going to see a full list of my services and as well their pricing. Also. Um, the content for Facebook and YouTube, they are exclusive to one another, meaning that what I do in Facebook at Facebook, I do not do here and vice versa as well. So if you do like the content that I'm creating you can, and you are not a Facebook follower, you can go to my Facebook page using the link down below. There you are going to be, uh, there, there, oh my God, there you are going to have a daily tarot readings, live streams. Uh, astrology posts as well from uh, the other person who works into the website, a fantastic astrologer, Pisces Moonbeam is a pseudonym. And uh, yeah, I mean, you are going to become more enriched, if you will, with the information that I can provide you with. So that being said, let's have a look what Taurus experience is going to have. So this reading is going to, is going to be a little bit different than usual. I'm not using spread, five cards, whatever the card shows, I say. And uh, it may sound a little bit chaotic at the start, but at the end, when I'm done with all five cards, explaining them generally, I will give my thoughts on what that will be in terms of practice, what I mean, what, what, what is the story that the card shows. So first one we do have for you, Taurus, that is to be the Seven of Cups. And uh, this, uh, this week here with the Seven of Cups, it seems that it will be very mixed. There will be, I can't say good and bad experiences, but more like experiences that gives you great hopes and then takes it away. Okay, and you end up disappointed that throws you back at the start, the start line and after that, you know, you have to try a new and so on and so forth. But the good thing about the seven of, of cups, it is that you can't go beneath the starting point of the week. So if you do end up into the week happy, okay, if you do enter, enter into the week, I'm sorry, happy, if you do enter into the week with, uh, say, a, a fat wallet, you, you ain't going to lose that. You may try to increase your wealth and not work it out, but you are not going to drop below the wealth that you entered up into the week. And uh, the Seven of Cups is primarily there. So you can kind of like approach the situations gra uh, uh, grounded, I'm sorry, because uh, throughout the week itself, you may end up believing into some kind of malicious statements. Uh, you can end up as well daydreaming about a, a thing, say a love or, or say a project that it could take place and suddenly you do receive a, a note that it's not gonna take place this week, okay? But it's gonna take place at some point. So it's kind of like a disappointment that throws you back at the starting line. But here what is important with the Seven of, uh, with the seven of Cups is to understand that tomorrow is promised to nobody. You cannot, uh, how can I say, rely on, um, you, cannot, you cannot rely on, on something long term to take place. You cannot bet your life for it, okay? For with this card, whatever you do have in mind, may or may not happen. What I mean is that the strophe of the card is that your dreams are like the, mother, the mother's dreams for children. Are they fantasies or seeds growing? Well, yeah, it remains to be of knowing. So at that point, at this particular week, you Taurus, not gonna have a very good idea how far you can stretch with your limits in terms of either love or in terms of either career. Uh, next card here it is the Nine of Wands and because you're not going to have a good foresight for what can happen in the future followed uh, of, of following the, not the criteria but the circumstances of the week, this is where you are going to start turning up your sight and your look into the things you can control. Here with the Nine of Wands, that it, is, uh, that it is where, based on the, uh, like I said, based on the unpredictability of the future, you are to start paying more attention to the things you can alter, to the things that you can change. And we're talking about conscious changes. So throughout the week, you may start renovating your home. It could be a re really small thing, okay? 
but still it's something that you can, can that you can have a control over you may as well restructure a little bit the plans of your daily routine still as something that you can't control and all that it is so because you can make your life much more comfortable uh, and here I don't want to emphasize on that things are not going to happen to you all right they can happen they may happen they may not happen like I said with the seven of one of uh, cups we can't say at that point but living in the future or how can I say living for the future that may not happen is not a healthy way of living and for that it seems that you are going to, like I said, turn a glance toward things you can't control. Some of you may, may be able to control a lot. Some of you may be able to control far little than that. But in any case, should you start making those conscious changes in terms to make your life much more um, comfortable, if I may say it that way, uh, things are to look very very good and for very small portion of you looking at those cards Taurus you will be able to avoid a utter disaster with those two cards the uh, the next one that we do have that is to be the ace of wands and just when, when I, and just when you think that the week is going to be a very um, how can I say inactive very boring and it's just is going to be an ordinary week there you go a very uh, gaining for enterprise comes your way something you have not anticipated at all it is just uh, it, it goes outside of the hopes and dreams you had at the start of the week okay if I have to estimate based on the uh, number of the card it should come about halfway through the week to the later portion of the week itself but this gaining for enterprise will require you to be very creative. Like I said, it's something that you have not encountered beforehand. And should it be about your career, then it will, um, it will unlock some kind of a talents or knowledge that was long time forgotten or talents that are yet undefined or undiscovered uh, by you. In any case, the Ace of Wands is the spark of inspiration. So you may feel like a little bit of a chaos throughout it. Uh, like for example, if it is about relationship, then uh, the Ace of Wands predisposed that you know, you're know you gonna miss each other um, for half an hour, let's say here and there, and things are not going to be exactly as planned, but you both are gonna go according to the how the things are developing, and it's simply things are going to work. The whole thing about the Ace of Wands is that you need to approach it with enthusiasm. You don't have to know everything everything about it all right but you're gonna learn as the thing goes it's just you're gonna get the hang of it out there uh, ace of wands it is when uh, you see no path forward and suddenly you know you do find it not uh, it's not as huge path as with the judgment with the judgment yes but it is something that you can definitely look forward to that we do have here the very least you are gonna have a very very good time moving next we do have the empress and so after that gaining for enterprise pretty much takes, play, uh, takes place, you're going to calm yourself down and you're going to start feeling very comfortable here. And uh, at some point, by calming yourself down, you're going to pretty much say to yourself, wait a minute, you know, I have to approach that thing not like a toddler, not like a child, not like a teenager. I am a grown and mature woman or a man. I have to approach it in a mature fashion. So while the initial impose of the Ace of Wands is going to be very big and you would want to kind of like spend as much time as you can within this gaining for enterprise, uh, you consciously are going to withdraw from it say for a day or two, maybe for a few hours as well, just so you can make a very balanced and well-found decision how you are to proceed with that enterprise moving forward. For you are to understand here that you are to reap whatever you sow. Be, may, may that be bitter or sweet or sweet is going to be yours to reap. And you would make sure, you will make sure that you go to the positive end, meaning that your harvest is to be sweet one. And uh, moving next, we do have the Knight of Pentacles and so person is coming up by the end of the week here. Knight of Pentacles is someone that would want to uh, most likely cooperate with you. 
Now these people, it could be as well an ex, okay? Because Knights of Pentacles, that card could speak about a person who wants to jump into the old branches of love. So yeah, it could be as well an ex and it does not correlate well with the Ace of Wands. Here, may, we, we may have a love triangle. We definitely do have a love triangle if we're talking about, uh, if we're talking about relationships. It is because if that was an ex that you can make up the things with, definitely throughout this week, we would have the Ace of Pentacles instead of the, uh, the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands, like I said, is something that you have not experienced before, so it is not about your ex. And we do have an, a most likely an ex that comes about or an ex-partner, for example, business partner that comes about that wants to do business with you or wants to be with you in terms of love. And you simply have something else to look forward to. So we do have a little bit of a conflict. Now, what you are to decide is going to be entirely up to you. And that is why we do have the withdrawal most likely. Here, as I explained with the... Uh, with the Empress, uh, but Knights of Pentacles, you need to know that they know what they want. So if they are coming back, they definitely mean what they are saying. They definitely mean what they are acting upon, okay? They definitely want to give it a try, give it a go. They do have a plan. So uh, what I can uh, not portray, but appeal, okay? What I can appeal to you, Taurus, is at least listen to them, what they are to say. If it, is, if it sounds good, give them a chance to, to manifest it. If they can't, well then you do have your gaining for enterprise one way or another. So just my thoughts on the, uh, on the reading here. I do believe how this thing is gonna turn out for you, Taurus. It is that, uh, you know, at the start of the week, you are gonna have a really, really high hopes. Uh, and those hopes are to be crushed, not because things can happen, but it is because, you know, you have to wait a little bit more for that. So you're going to turn your glance into something uh, completely different of your primal, of your primal goal, or prime goal, I'm sorry, uh, or a grand goal, or a grand routine, or a grand plan, if you will, and you are going to like very much, you know, where you are heading, it's going to be exciting, and I do believe that we are talking here more about love than anything else, and uh, because what is going to make you comfortable, and as well, we are entering into a holiday week, right? So we love more, of, uh, more about anything else and it seems that it's going to be something like a triangle. It doesn't have to be a strong one, okay? It could be very, very negligible. Um, the, the strength of that triangle could be very, very negligible. But in any case, the decision of whom you are going to move forward with is entirely yours. Please just be mature about it. Not emotional, not logical mature about it and being mature meaning to tame your emotions and to make your decisions by not neglecting the logic but uh, aligning your logic with the emotions so you do a decision that you find it logically correct and you feel good about it that is to be mature or to make a mature decision so that being said, this was your a weekly tarot reading. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it. And uh, we shall see each other next time. Until then, bye.